Oh hey, I, I, I didn't see you there. I was uh, I was uh, well, I was about to start episode fifty six of uh, Nyempi plays nine nine nine. But I mean, now that you're here, I'll just do what I was gonna do anyway, which is start episode fifty six of Nyempi plays nine nine nine. Um, in the last episode, we gave Clover the very special Clover note book book mark. Um, and now we're going to go all the way. To the name. Oh, it's, it lights up based on the route that I'm doing. Yeah, I know it did do that, but I thought that's cool now that I'm going through. Now we go all the way to the chart room, and there's going to be some key here, so I'm very intrigued. Let's see what it is. Whoa! Seek a way out. That's interesting, though. That's so interesting. Yeah, so we got the weird, not the bongo music. Um. So I guess. Do I get Junpei's face when I'm like doing something right? There has to, there's a hundred percent importance. And I, don't, I I'm gonna have to look it up after I finish the game because I'm 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 again. The word comes up a lot. I'm perplexed at um how it all works. I assume it's like when I'm doing something right, his face shows up. And because I just did everything wrong, his face doesn't show up. Um, but, now I gotta remember what to do in this room. So we go to the desk. My brother's desk, because he couldn't see, he never put stuff on like the need. Damn, that's. How am I supposed to say that, poor kid? A pocket watch. Oh, pocket watch. And hey, then he just man. steals it. What are you doing over in this room? Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? Yes. Well, yeah, there is. Um. Oh wait. Oh, well, I gotta pick the right one. Not a problem. That's a lie. I wanted to get rid of Ace. I sent him to the wheelhouse at the beginning for a reason. Oh. Oh my God. I wanted to talk to Clover alone. Yeah, you're gonna talk to her to get more of the thing. Wait, does that mean in this? The sixth door. Did I? No. Oh, that's right. Then why would I do that? So, yeah, in this route, in this cannon route, we we did the kitchen, we learned about Ice Nine. We went to the seventh door, we learned all about damn Alice and Clover's strange ship of Theseus. And now, we're like, damn, I gotta know more about what Clover has to say. I'm gonna fudge the things so that I can go into a room with her. That's so interesting. There's something I want to ask her. Yeah. I don't want anyone to overhear us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. Oh my god, this is so interesting. I'm a little desperate to send him back. Quick. He has to leave. We got time. Ace opened his mouth, taking a look at and a small smoke appeared on his face. Oh, oh, I see, of course. That's, that was, it was a little out of place in like my original playthrough. That's very strange. You look Jumper over, then glance at Clover. I apologize for the intrusion. Oh, so yeah, that didn't make sense. Well, best of luck. But now it does. Because I thought it was just like, ha ha, funny joke, he's going to chat up Clover. But no, he actually does want to chat up Clover. Ace can Jumper pat the shoulder and left. <sighs> This is the key. Jinpei let out a sigh and brushed a few drops of sweat from his forehead. He turned and found himself looking straight into Clover's eyes. She had heard what Ace had said. She regarded Jinpei with caution. What was that about? Beats me. She was clearly very suspicious. She was clearly suspicious. With good reason. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Jinpei's eyes widened, and he held up his hands in a gesture of innocence. Oh, uh, no, 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 it's not like that. <laughs> ah, What's Jinpei. it like, then? Hmm. I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. Yeah. What story? About the experiment, remember? The one you started to tell me in the operating room? I don't remember. I have amnesia. You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. Clara bit her lip. She stared down at the floor for several long moments. When she spoke, it was barely audible. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. 
When are you gonna be able to talk I'm about just it? Not in the mood, okay? Oh my god. Oh. You understand, right? I'm just I keep thinking about my brother. Oh, don't we know her brother's dead I, by now? I can't stop. Yeah. I mean, who would do something like that to my brother? <sighs> I can't forgive them. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. They're gonna pay for it. I promise. Does will I have a chance to stop her with so, that, the axe? So a needle pulling thread. Shoulders were shaking. Drops of blood had sprung from her lips while she was biting them. She wiped it off and looked at Junpei. Her eyes Oh the one time it actually says looked up at Junpei. I don't say the up. God damn it. She wiped it off and looked up at Junpei, her eyes fierce Junpei. and angry. Who do you think did it? I did. Her voice was cold and scarcely above a whisper. Junpei gulped. Well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors. And if you subtract Snake, that means there were at least two other people. Mm -hmm. You're right. So, what does that mean? It's... Well, See, how if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. I did do that. I did do that. I told you so. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm going back the wrong. Yes, no, I have it. Lotus, June, Junpei. Junpei, seven, Lotus. Clover, seven, Lotus. Santa, seven, Clover, June. So if we rule out June, Clover, and me, then it's Santa and seven. Who could have opened door three with Snake? Well, really, who and who, or who, who, and who? Wow, Junpei, I didn't know you could do a sick owl impression. You mean it could have been four people? Could have. Well, technically, it's possible. Um, could have been five if know. you throw in some other ones. That doesn't seem very likely. Why? Yeah, I think. Um, I'll tell you later. But tell me now. Why don't we just assume it was only two other people for now? What do you mean, tell me now? Do you, like, you can't just say stuff and then not say stuff. But yes, if we assume there's only two people, and we know I didn't do it. No, wait, June. Wait, is that June or Junpei? Hold on, calculator time. Clover, Junpei, Snake. Over June. Wait, that's just not right. How did I get Clover, June, and Snake? What? Was it get? You need eighteen. That just doesn't make sense. I just got that wrong. But luckily I ruled it out because I'm like, I wouldn't kill anyone. Okay, uh, got it. Let's do that then. So yeah, it's it's Santa 7 and then who do you think it could be? He crossed his arms and thought. His next bracelet number was 2. Which two bracelet numbers? Oh, digital root of 3! Why was I thinking? Wait. Three? No, so... Possibility, possibility, never mind, I'm smart. So, yeah, I was right, June. Which two bracelets added to we could be digital? Whoa! That is a lot of possibilities, Jesus. Um, so, it doesn't give me an option for, it's, it's, so it's Ace, Santa, June, I can say. So I, can I, I can't say it's Clover in June, which is a shame, but Santa and Seven. Could it be Santa and Seven? It was three. Yep, that's the three. The digital root for Snake, Santa, and Seven is... <gasps> three! But don't hey, tell her that. Are Santa and Seven the killers? Yeah, they're my oh. favorite band. What's wrong? Oh, I'm just so upset at the fact that I definitely can't figure out who it is. Ugh, what a shame. Clover looked at Jimbe. He looked back to that. That's how looking works. No point well, hiding it. I thought about it, and he told her his conclusions. 
That's what I thought. Hmm. She looked less surprised than he'd expected. Santa and Seven. Hmm. If it was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Yeah, but it's not necessarily two people. Hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? And I know a lot about jumping. Haha, <laughs> that's my nickname. Well, all I said is that those two would have been able to open door three with your brother. There might be other possibilities. Well, what other possibilities? Uh, um... He didn't have an answer. He was ready to admit defeat when Clover spoke. Are you saying you think that it was three or four people? I mean, quite possibly. It could be a murder on the Orient Express. I really don't think that's likely. Hmm. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Just, I want to draw a cute picture of a rabbit and then tell you. Yeah, here. Jinpei pulled out his pen and pad of paper and handed, to them, handed them to her. She opened the notebook. She opened the notebook and wrote down several simple addition problems. Eventually she had eight. She tried additional root of three. Yeah, so that's kind of what I did. So, one, three, I can't, the text is covering up ironically. So, one, three, and six. Ace, Clover, so I'm sure though, she's gonna go over all of them. Yeah, alright. What's this? this? What do you think? What do you think, Junpei? How would this relate to what we are just saying? I'm curious, what do you think? Well, I guess, yeah, if you rule out Junpei. You like Junpei Clover. It could be four, seven, eight. Five, six, eight. These are the combinations for three or four people. So I had a lot of combinations I just didn't pick. Because I didn't bother choosing A's. These eight combinations are the only possible ones. Oh, yeah, I see. Junpei? Yeah. I I can trust you, right? As you can say, like, I saw Seven walk in. Of course. And into Why would you need to ask three. that? Really? Yeah. Hmm. So then I should get rid of B, D, G, oh. and H, right? Yeah. Of course. Just cross them out. And you should take off yours too. The ones with four. We don't know that. So, what does that leave? Hmm. A and E. Th both of them have three. Oh, so yes, yeah, Santa is guilty. Ace is guilty, according to this. Seven and eight is six. And then she'd be like, well, there's no way that June would do anything like that, right? And then you'd be like, there's no way that um, Lotus would do anything like that. Wait, it can't be A. Why? Because June's in that one. Yeah, okay, well, you don't really know her then. There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. You don't know that. Are you sure? Yeah. I bet my life on it. Oh, well, you did kind of bet your life on it, and it kind of backfired. Okay, then. I can cross off A, too, right? Yeah. Well, what have we got left? E. Oh. And if it's three and seven, then why would they get one and eight? I, I, I see. Do you know what this means? Everyone besides me, you, and June would be working together. Do you think that's likely? Yeah, they're great at working together. Hmm. If there were four people working together, 
They wouldn't be very cautious. I don't think they'd try that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? Well, you do have a point. And besides, if Ace and Seven are working together, hmm. they could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. That's, that's true. But they didn't. They didn't even try anything. Wow. If they were killers, why wouldn't they? I don't know, I heard to say on the down low. Her voice is calm, but Junpei only had to look her in the eye to know it was a force to calm. There were tears forming at the corners of her eyes. Again? She was blinking furiously to hold them back. Perhaps by attempting an objective analysis of who might have killed her brother, she had been able to distance herself from the harsh reality of his death. The more she struggled to act unconcerned, the more Junpei felt his heart oh. tighten. That damn heart attack. I see. Anyway, I understand now. It seems pretty unlikely that it was as many as three or four people. Yeah. Then that means there's a good chance it was Santa and Seven. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? There was a moment of silence. Their motive. What? Oh. He laid his hand gently on her shoulder. He was close. So close to the answer. He was close. When Ace chose the worst possible moment to return. He raised an annoying eyebrow and then spoke. Have I interrupted something? Yes, yes, yes. Turn around and go back, please. Uh, uh. What is it? There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a moment? Ugh. Fine. He turned on his heel and walked back towards the wheelhouse. Go ahead. Okay. Junpei looked over at Clover. He gave her a short nod. Hoped that she would be willing to talk to him again later in four days. What did you want to talk about? I just looked at Junpei and smiled. Perhaps more of a smirk than a smile. Here, use protection. There was something I wanted to check. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What's that? If you'll excuse me. Oh, yeah, he's doing the thingy. Yep. Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? I'm just checking. No, 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 stop. No, no, no. He reached for his arm, but it was too late. It was already too uh, late. Uh, and the older man's hand with a piece of paper Junpei had pulled up and hidden in his just pocket. Just as I thought. What exactly are these pieces of paper hiding in your pocket? Nothing. <sighs> you switched them, didn't you, when we voted? No. Um. So one he switched to be with June, the other he switched to talk to Clover. All right. <sighs> well, I can't say that I care. I managed to get through the numbered door I wanted, despite your mischief. Then, why did you... Oh, simple curiosity. I hope you won't think ill of me for it. Yeah, oh, you'll be ill, all right. He smiled, Jun gave Junpei a friendly pat on the shoulder, then turned his heel and left. Turned on his heel and left. Uh... It was a small defeat, but it was defeat. Yeah, he lost the upper hand. <sighs> Can I... Huh. So that's 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 uh that's that done. Um how do I go back? Oh, here we go. I assume I can't talk to Clover anymore. This map looks weird, what is it? This map is all with the Atlantic Ocean in the middle. Alright. What do you mean it's weird because you haven't seen it that way? This is how all the maps are. Like, this this is literally a normal map. The Pacific is not meant to go in the middle. America is not meant to go in the middle. This is just a normal map. Now, that does mean we do have that key. And that means we can go into the next one, which is the captain's quarters. That's where we, okay, that's where we find the dead captain. All right, so where we are steaming ahead, as you will, to uh, learning more about uh clover and maybe her little plan to kill people maybe if we're uh if we get a little bit lucky we can uh maybe not get stabbed in the head with an axe so um i will see you in the next episode see you then